listening to the Dynamic Women podcast. Each week, you'll be inspired by our global community of women. They'll share with you tools and stories to help you be dynamic in every area of life. He's your host, award-winning coach, and the CEO and founder of Dynamic Women, Diane Ralston. Hey, this is Diane and welcome to the Dynamic Women podcast. In this episode, you're going to learn success habits for successful people, women like you. Do you ever look at successful people and wonder, how do they do it? And are you wanting to get ahead, but it seems like it's hard work with struggles and lack of balance? Well, there are things that you can do that will help you in leaps and bounds. So today, you're going to learn some success habits. We're going to talk about, you know, good habits that you can have habits that you want to break, and goals that you want to reach. What is a good habit? Now, when I did some research online, a lot of the different sites were saying that, um, talking more around it being a behavior, and that it's beneficial to your physical and your mental health. And a lot of people think that, you know, when you have a good habit, it's linked to a high level of discipline self-control. So what are some good habits that you have? Take a minute, write a few down, or just think of a few. So maybe some good habits that you have are maybe you exercise regularly, or you sleep well. There are actually a list of 10 really good habits. Let's go through them right now. Eating healthy foods, getting enough sleep, getting up early, meditating daily, working out eating a good breakfast. They even say that one of the good habits is taking a nap and not wasting time and taking breaks to re-energize. So how many of those 10 do you have? And are these really the best habits for you? So if you think of what are some good habits that you have, what are some things that you do daily or often that really are beneficial to you? One of my good habits is I make my bed every day. Now, What is the importance of that for me? Well, I work from home. My office is quite near my bedroom. And when I go to the bathroom, I walk through my bedroom to my ensuite. And so there's a lot of time when I walk past my room, when I walk through my room, and just seeing my bed made, man, it actually feels really good. And so what are some really good habits that you have? And how do they add to your success? Well, if you start your day by doing something great, like uh, getting up early, meditating, working out, eating a good breakfast, or like me, making your bed, do you think that this kicks off your day in the best way? For sure, it totally does. Successful people actually not only have habits that they have in the morning, but they have habits that are like a ritual, a whole full morning ritual that they do. And so this is a really great place to start, having good habits in the morning at the start of your day. Really, that's when you're gonna get the most benefit all through the day. So if you are currently maybe hitting snooze or going straight onto your phone, then just think of what would be ideal? What would be an ideal habit to have in the morning? There are so many things out there that can support you in scheduling that morning. There is the Miracle Morning that you can go and check out, and it has a series of SAVERS, which is an acronym for Scribing, Affirmations, Visualization, Exercise, Reading, and Scribing, which would be journaling. So that's just one of many different ways. There are a lot of people out there that have morning routines that you can follow or create your own. You can also create new and good habits that would go along with maybe starting work, starting your work day, getting into different activities that you have, like making dinner, being with loved ones. So just kind of think about where do you want to have some good habits and what are some good habits that you already have so that you can create ones that are missing. So I've kind of already mentioned it a little bit, but bad habits. So ask yourself this, what is a habit that you want to break? What is a habit that doesn't serve you anymore? Do you snack while you watch TV? Do you drink too much? Do you go to bed late? Do you bite your nails? So what are some bad habits that you want to break? And how do you break them? 
Well, first of all, you should check in with why are you doing the bad habit in the first place? Are you snacking while you're watching TV because you're bored? Because you're eating your emotions? Are you going to bed late because you're not getting up early enough? Or are you going to bed late because you just have too many things on your plate? And so is the bad habit really that you're saying yes too much, that you're taking too much on? So first of all, when you look at the bad habit, see what's the reason for that bad habit. And then ask yourself, what's important about breaking this habit? So if the habit is, like I said, about snacking while watching TV, so what is important about breaking that? Is it because you want to be healthier? Because you don't want to go to bed with a full stomach? Because you end up watching trash on TV anyway, and you should probably read a book or just go to bed or exercise or do something that is going to actually support you and help you? Or are you doing these things to unplug because you're really stressed out? So find what is the core, what is the thing, the cue that is actually making you do the habit. You know, a lot of times I've talked to moms and it's like as soon as the kids are in bed, all they want to do is grab a glass of wine. Now, I'm not going to sit here and judge you. Um, and I felt the same way too. I've been so frustrated with uh, the back and forth and just get to bed and the stress of it. And maybe your stress is different. And the first thing I want to do is just get a beer or a glass of wine just to calm down. And so for me, is that really the best habit in that situation? If I am using it to self soothe, probably there's some other ones, meditating, going for a walk, talking to a friend, there are other options. So what do you do if you want to break a habit? First of all, like I mentioned, you find out what is the, at the core of that bad habit. What is the cue? What is the thing, the trigger that is making you do that habit? If you can satisfy that need, first of all, if you can find out what is important about that, that will help you immensely. Second thing is, why don't you replace a bad habit with a good habit? So I've already gave some suggestions, but if you're going to bed late, come up with a going to bed ritual and get to bed earlier. If you're snacking while watching TV, instead, think I'm going to go for a walk anytime I feel like snacking, <laughs> or I'm going to do 10 push ups, something that will actually support you instead. And the third thing you can do is create what the good habit is, and then attach it, this new good habit that you want to have, attach it to a habit you already have. So for example, someone was feeling like they're constantly being negative, that they should bring in the good habit of affirmations, good habit of gratitude. And so they have already a habit in the morning of making themselves a coffee or making yourself a tea, you could think of that time. That's, that's a good habit if, if you don't abuse the caffeine, you don't have too much. But it's already a habit that you're able to have. So every morning you maybe wake up and you're starting to make yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. And so in that time, wouldn't it be a really great idea to just attach a new good habit like gratitude? So as you're making your coffee, you're sitting there and you're saying all of the things that you are grateful for. So attach a new habit to a habit that you already have. So now the trigger or the cue for that new good habit is another good habit. That's a win-win all around. The next thing I want to ask you is what goals do you want to reach? Hmm, what goals in life? Do you want to get back to working out? Do you want to start sleeping eight hours a day? Do you want to get up early? Um, what other things do you have? Do you want to up level your business? Do you want to attract more clients? Do you want to have a stronger marriage, a better relationship with a family member or a friend? What is the goal that you want to reach? Now look at your list of bad habits and ask yourself, do these support the goals I want to have? Hmm, probably not. So if you think about the good habits you already have, which of your good habits support this goal that you want to reach? Hopefully lots of them. And if not, this is where you get to make that choice. So think, what new good habit would you like to bring in, in order to help you reach that goal? I'll give some examples that could help you. How about using Sundays to plan out your week? So maybe your schedule is like all over the place and you, you're missing things and you're over scheduling or you don't get everything completed. 
So using Sundays to plan out your week is a really good habit to have. What if you were super stressed in life and you always ended the day by just scrolling through Facebook, kind of unplugging in that regard, zoning out? Instead, a good habit that you could have in order to help you reach your goals, but also help you feel more relaxed, would be to just spend time at the end of your day chilling out, meditating, listening to music, going for a walk. And so maybe that's how you would end your day. Good habits can be big, good habits can be small. But if you are wanting to get more organized, how about the simple habit of when someone sends you an attachment or you download something off the internet that you actually file it away somewhere on your computer? Yeah, I get it. Filing sucks and filing can be something that you you have tons of things that need to be put away. But what if you just started today that every time you downloaded something, every time you got that bit of information, you put it where it belongs? Do you think that that would help you be a more successful person? Of course, it's going to save you time when you go looking for things. It's going to keep your computer clean. It's going to help you to remove files you don't need. So the good habit, you can start today on whatever habit that you want to bring in. Having successful habits will make you a successful person. But it's up to you to figure out what are the habits that I need in order to reach my goals. So that's my wish for you, that you're going to take some time, go through the questions that I've asked you. And if you were to just drop one bad habit, consciously put effort into dropping that one bad habit, and pick up one good habit that's going to help you achieve your goals, you, my friend, are going to be a more successful woman. Congratulations for investing this time in yourself. I know it is going to pay off. If you have some really good habits and ideas that you want to share, please reach out. You can find me at Coach Diane Rolston on Instagram. Or send me an email with your questions and your comments to podcast at dianerolston.com. And so until next time, stay dynamic. Thank you, Dynamic Women, for joining us today. Please hop on over to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a review. Who do you know who needs to hear our message? We'd love it if you'd share our channel with your friends and family. If you're ready to be more dynamic, have more balance and more success, head over to www.dynamicwomenclub.com forward slash free gift for your key to success book. Stay dynamic.